Right now, whilst you're all punching those numbers, it's time for us to talk to the four people who prefer to push each other's buttons. It's the X Factor judges, everybody! Hello! <laughs> Good evening. And Gary, we must come to you first of all, and I'm so sorry that Craig's lost the competition, but it's the first time you've lost an act. How yeah. are you feeling? Oh, terrible. Really terrible. Um, you know, Craig, week after week, has delivered. I mean, everyone at home knows what an amazing vocalist he is. You know, I've spent as much time with him as I possibly could to yeah. try and teach him about what happens when this competition ends for him. And I just am convinced he is going to go on to amazing things. He's just got the character so too, well and the strength to do that. Definitely. And obviously, with three weeks in the final, Kelly, you have three acts left in the competition. You're guaranteed to have one of them in the final now. How are you feeling about that? You know what? Anything can happen, as I am noticing in this competition. And I'm just happy that I still have three strong acts, three very um, unique acts as well in one category. And I just think that, that it's the most amazing thing. So I'm proud of all the acts that are still here. They've all worked so hard and that's why, you know, everything has just unfolded the way it has. And Craig is definitely going to go on to do amazing things. He's such a talented young man. Definitely. Um, Talisa, you said that was the hardest decision to make in one of the sing-offs so far. Why did you choose to send Amelia home? Um, because it was so tough, um, I couldn't think about you know, the act that I'd like so much through the competition because Amelia's only just come mm. back. Um, Craig's got such a big voice. I was just torn, so I just said to myself, I have to put any emotions aside because I get along really well with Amelia and just go for who moved me the most in their performance. And that just happened to be Craig. Hey. And, and Louis, Little Mix, Janet and Marcus are the only three that haven't been in the bottom two. Are they going to be the final three? I don't know. I mean, it's up to the public, like I always say. They're in charge. Whoever gets the most votes, you know? I don't know. I can't call it. I didn't expect those two people to be in the sing-off tonight. It was a brilliant sing-off. Brilliant, was, brilliant sing-off. I mean, it, yeah. it was emotional for both yeah, of us. Yeah, it really but was. Somebody has to go home. That's Absolutely, the problem. They do. they do. It's the rules. OK, well, let's go to the callers. We've got Joe on the phone. Who wants to speak to Gary? Joe, are you there? Hi, everybody. Hi. Hello. Hi, Hello. Gary. You have been a great mentor. But do you think Craig what? went tonight because he's been too predictable and always sang girl songs? Was he ultimately boring? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, you know what? I think Craig. It, I think Craig took on the challenge every week of an of a new theme. You know, he did his rock week well. He did his dance week. Bless him. You know, that week was the week yeah. we were dreading that one. And he even put a little dance routine. He, he he's been great fun. And I'm I must say. I've been very lucky with the boys this year because I, I feel they're very low maintenance. They're lovely guys. They're in and out of my dressing room all day long. And I think Craig's oh. risen to every challenge. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're asking for that one. Do you think he could have sung more male songs, perhaps? I do what? He could have sung more male songs. Would that have helped? I, I don't think people are sat at home going, he's, he's singing a girl's song, I'm not going to vote well, for him. Well, some are. No, I, I actually think the reason Craig was in the bottom two this week is that that's how tough this competition is at this point. That's how high the bar is for talent. And that's, that's why he was there tonight, you know. Okay. Oh, definitely. And um, we've got Adrian on Skype for Kelly. Adrian, are you there? I am here. Hi, Hi Adrian. Hi. Good Hi. evening. Your question for Kelly, please. Hi, Adrian. Oh, Kelly, yes. Hi. Kelly, Amelia was in the bottom two this week. Is that because she couldn't build a good fan base with her performance? You know what? Honestly, Adrian, I can say that I, I really can't call it. You know what I mean? I think that we've all seen over the past... You guys stop it. We've all seen over the past couple of weeks um, that anything can happen. And I was not ready for that. I didn't know what was going to happen today. Even, like, getting ready, I was like, what is going to happen? And who's going to be in the bottom two? You just never know. But Amelia's definitely going to work hard. She continues to work hard. I always tell her to eat the competition. I tell all my girls that eat the competition. Is it two songs next week, do you know? Yep. Yeah, yeah two wow. songs. OK, let's go to Natasha, who wants to speak to Talisa. Natasha, are you there? Hi, Ollie. Hi, Caroline. Hi. Hi, Hi Natasha. My friend Paula says, hey. Hello. Hello. Um, OK, my question is for Teresa. In the past, you and Kelly have fallen out because Kelly said what happened backstage should stay backstage. But in Misha's VT last night, it was all about her personal life. Do you think this was hypocritical? Um, no, honestly, that's, that's all forgotten now. It really is. I don't even want to go into it anymore. Yeah. It's done. Me and Kelly are cool. You know, we were right. We were fine. 
in the competition in the beginning, we had a debate, we got over it, that's it. I don't even want to put any more digs in, I've had enough of all the drama. I'm just focusing on my acts, like Kelly is, we're good. Absolutely. That's it. We good. don't want to talk about it no more, we're all friends now. All about got... friendship. Have we got Jack for Louis? Jack, are you there? Hi, Ollie. Hi, Caroline. Hi. Hi. Graham, Colin and Dave. I can show. Hello. <laughs> uh, my question to Louis is, Louis, last night you said you were putting all your support behind Amelia. Why do you think the public have not done the same? Well, she's still in the competition. She's still in Final Five. I think she's got something special. I think it's called potential. <laughs> she's like a world-class pop star. She's like a little Christina Aguilera, <laughs> you know? A little bit of pink. She's got something special. Yeah. Why, you know, why do you get the votes? As a manager, I look for somebody with potential. This girl has got so much potential. Yes, she does. Is it the song choice? <laughs> for her or for, or for, for Craig? Amelia, for Amelia. Yeah, I don't think the song was amazing last night, but I think she's so versatile, and I think the girl can sing anything. By the way, Ollie, congratulations on the hit single. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, congratulations, yeah. Ollie. Caroline. Wait, another one. Yeah, 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 Hi, Justine. Hi, Ollie. Hi, Speak. Speak. And your question? Uh, my question for Gary is, Gary, now you're down to just Marcus in the competition, and he does big old-style performances every week. Do you think, like, Craig is becoming too predictable and you need to make him more current? Well, you know what? I try and always take the lead from my artists, uh, and Marcus loves the old school. You know, he's someone who... Hello, what's going on here? <laughs> Is she your friend, Ollie? <laughs> um, <laughs> me, Ollie. That was very good. Oh, very good. Thank you. <laughs> Two <laughs> plugs, <laughs> Ollie. Two <laughs> plugs. Oh, I that's embarrassing. She's clearly you interested love her. in this. That's the, my sister. I know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> Go on, Gaza. Yeah, she's clearly interested in my answer here. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I try and take influence from them and, you know, Marcus really, you know, he embraces his heritage of old rhythm and blues and that's what he likes to do. Next week, I do know we have a surprise up our sleeve, so uh, I'm looking Give forward to that. Gary, Gary, you say that every week, surprise. <laughs> there was no surprise this week. Louis, the surprise. There was no... With Louis, Craig. The surprise this week was you being here. What <laughs> I'm here every year. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we come back, you just do. And we've got Blake on the, on the line for you, Kelly. Blake, are you there? Hi, everyone. I am, yeah. My question is for Kelly. Kelly, love, last night we saw an, a very emotional side to Misha B. Do you think that is what kept her you know, out of the bottom, th bottom two? You know what? I think that Misha being even more open just about herself and even, but as far as performing, when she performed, she was so vulnerable and she allowed herself to be vulnerable. And I think that people really connected with her vulnerability on stage and her performance. It was just really magnetic. And I was so proud of her because in rehearsals, I didn't even see her go to that place. But she went to a place where she just connected with everybody. And that's what kept her out of the bottom two. Great uh, getting her getting prepared and having a great performance and I'm very proud of her. Absolutely, yeah. all about connection. Okay, we're going to go to Juliet, who wants to speak to Talisa. Juliet, are you there? Yeah. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, Caroline. Hi, Ollie. Hi, Juliet. Talisa, last night, you and Gary got into a heated argument about song choices. Did you continue after the show, and do you stand by what you said? Did the debate continue after the show? What goes on after you leave this room? Um, I definitely stand by what I said, but no, the debate didn't continue after the show at all. <laughs> no? Really? Yeah. Come on. Honestly, it didn't. You just went past each other and go, you're all right. You're all right. You're all right, Talisa. You're all right, you're all right Gary. Oh. <laughs> I, I think for us guys now, especially at this point of the competition, the reason I was so frustrated last night is I want them to learn up there. I want them to be able to take something away from them every week and be able to, us to give them advice that they can go away and work on every week. Absolutely. Good. Well, well said. Thank you for your call and your question. Definitely. And um, we've got Kathy on the line for Louis. Kathy, are you there? Hi, Carly. Hi, Carly. Hi, Ollie. Hi. How are you? You all right? 
Hi, uh, my question is for Louis. Um, Louis, this year the judges have argued more than ever. Do you think this has ever this has overshadowed the performances? And why can't you all get along? It's a good question. Good question. <laughs> Great question. We all get along when we're not working together. <laughs> but when we're working together, we all want our acts to do well. That's the problem. You know, we, we, we agree to disagree a lot of times, but I think we're all good judges. I and and I, think, I think there's good chemistry amongst us. I, like, I like the disagreements as long as it's not at the detriment of the artist. Yeah. That's the point. It's not we've good. all got different ideas. We all like different music. We all look for different things. As a manager, I look for different things. The other three judges are artists, so they look for different things. Yeah. Would you say there's been more disagreements this year than any other previous it's been, year? It's been very honest and open. Yes. You know, yeah, well, we, you know we just say what we feel. You also realise it, it is business. This is the music industry. And, you know, if there were for a and R sitting in a record label, they would be debating with each other and fighting for what they believe in. So right. it's the same thing. Very it is right. business. We agree to disagree a lot of the time. It's how we love it. Definitely. Yeah. Now, judges, the end of the series is nigh, but fear not, viewers, you'll still be able to look at their gorgeous faces all year round, as most of you have 2012 calendars coming out. Isn't that right? Oh, you really not do. Me. Not uh, me. Gary, here's yours. Yes, here's Gary's. Oh, no. Have a look go. at this. We are particularly... Here's Gary's. Oh, <laughs> we're really enjoying... <laughs> February. Let's have a look, look at February. February. <laughs> <laughs> You're oh, watching yeah. Gary, what are you looking at? Mate, I'm, you I'm watching Louis plane flying back to oh. England. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. Fantastic. <laughs> and to Lisa, end up to have one coming out as well. Oh. Check out, check Woo. out January. Very ghetto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. <laughs> that's me. Well, that's I like if you go back to my roots. Yeah, it's when I go back to my roots. There's a okay, now, Kelly, calendars obviously oh. are big in the USA, but I hope you're taking note for next year. Yeah, I guess, yeah. I, guess I have to do one. Yeah. Uh, even Ollie's got one. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How oh, August? Let's have a look at August, shall we? Oh, <laughs> 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 That's not even me. You look like a member of the Backstreet Boys. Ollie, Ollie, wait a minute, wait Caroline. a minute. Ollie, Ollie, but you know Ollie, what? That's, that's a nice picture you are. Yeah. You look kind of I know the, fresh I know the right calendar. There. I want to it's say something. Cute. I know the Caroline. I know the calendar that Caroline is buying. <laughs> <laughs> well, what we, we was really shocked when we found out Louis actually has a calendar oh. as well. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do, eh? No. Check this out. <laughs> I've got to say, June, no. June, you look really good in June. <laughs> Lovely dress, Louis. <laughs> for November, like hashtag one. potato! Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Guys, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a great night. Oh, Good job,